On today's highlights, we will learn to recognize the relationship between righteous living and one's responsibility to maintain the good found in God's created order, and repent and reaffirm our faithfulness to God. Today's key verse reads, Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness, and may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 3. Zephaniah prophesied of God's coming judgment because of the idolatry that had filled Judah and Jerusalem. Zephaniah dealt with this particular aspect of the unfaithfulness of God's people in major detail. Many of the practices condemned by the prophet anticipate the reforms of King Josiah in 622 BC. Zephaniah started off giving a sweeping vision of what will happen on the day of the Lord, a day when everything would be consumed. This picturesque description of God's wrath will serve as a bookend to chapter 2, which is more encouraging and offers hope. Here, in the midst of judgment, God's people were encouraged to repent and seek Him. In Zephaniah's day, the people of Judah were swearing allegiance to both God and Molech. Not only is the Lord displeased by their half-worship, he will impose the same punishment on Judah as on idolaters. This idolatry was an intentional avoidance and refusal to follow the Lord. The attitude and lifestyle of all those who have not sought after the Lord. In this context, sought is to seek in order to find. This is also the attitude of those who have not inquired of him. The word means to frequent or consult. Those who turn back from God avoid his counsel. Zephaniah describes the day of the Lord as a day of gloom, darkness, and distress, as well as trumpets and battle cries. This indicates military invasion and alludes to Babylonia's invasion of Judah in 597 BC. The attack will be directed at Judah's defenses, which will fail on that day. Zephaniah urges the people of Judah to gather together and repent while there still is time. The fierce fury of the Lord is set to descend on them, but they have the opportunity to repent and turn from their wickedness. Judah needs to collectively humble themselves and seek the Lord earnestly. Refusing to seek the Lord is one of the causes for judgment. Now, Judah must seek the Lord once again, pursuing righteousness and doing what is right by following the Lord's commands. Judah must live humbly, submitting to the Lord in everything. In order to be saved, Judah must show humility or meekness. Humbly seeking the Lord would cause him to spare them. Zephaniah calls those who want to be saved from the devastation of the day of the Lord to seek God. The prophet particularly announces this to the meek of the earth, the poor, afflicted, and humble. Zephaniah further adds that they are to seek righteousness and meekness. Righteousness is what is right and just. Meekness is lowliness of mind and status. It is having the attitude of proper self-estimation in relation to God as one who is poor and humble. Here's our lesson. Sin is destructive. Not only does it affect the individual and his or her relationship with God, it affects others, sometimes on a large scale. As believers, we must take seriously the teachings of the Lord and endeavor to please Him in all we do. We must turn away from sin and follow God wholeheartedly. Maybe this week, we can spend some time reading the Bible and praying, and we can seek the Lord with all of our hearts. Let's seek His guidance and meditate on His goodness. Thank you so much for listening and subscribing to iLights. Lord, teach us how to direct our desires according to your design, so that we may at long last arrive at so glorious a destiny. Come, Lord, fill our hearts. May the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus.